So today we're gonna let Miss Molly decide her actual name. And uh, she's got kind of a cool backstory. We didn't even tell it when we went and picked her up. Last year I was looking on classifieds and came across this really flashy little spotted weanling Molly mule. That they were asking a lot for and I absolutely loved her. And I really wanted to go look at her, but we didn't want to waste the people's time going and looking at her. We did contact the guy and he was up for trades. So we even talked to him about maybe trading our cargo trailer for her and we just could never get a price negotiated that everyone was happy with. And so I just thought she was probably gonna be sold and gone forever and I was pretty bummed. Her ad got taken down and it was gone. A month and a half ago or so, Jason's aunt came out and we were talking about mules and I actually showed her a picture of this little spotted molly and I was like, oh man, there was this weanling for sale last year and I just wish it would've worked out, but it didn't. About a week ago, I was like, I haven't looked at the, the classified ads for a long time and decided I'd just see what's on there. So I opened them up and here was this little spot of Molly. Now she's a year and a half old. The ad had been posted for one day and she was half the price she was. And so I was like, can we go look at her? <laughs> and so Jason and I talked about it. So I reached out to the guy and uh, it turns out that the next day was his day off. So, and the rest you guys saw on our last YouTube video. So anyway, that turned out pretty darn cool. It all worked out and now she's here with us. So anyway, we're gonna figure out what to name her we're actually gonna let her choose it's gonna be fun so the three names that we ended up picking out are written on each one of these buckets and we're gonna great audio <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to oh no she's like you said grain and we're going to put a little bit of grain in each one of these buckets and we're gonna let miss molly decide her own name so <laughs> okay. you have to wait all right so in no particular order first name we have Josie. And the reason we picked that is for Chief Joseph of the Nose Pierce. There was an old Chief Joseph and a young Chief Joseph and uh, both played an extremely important role with the tribe so that her name would just be Josie but in memory of Joseph. You don't even like grain. Why are you here? All right the next one is War Bonnet and we would call her Bonnie. So this one's kind of funny because we already have Clyde, our white mule. So we'd have Bonnie and Clyde. A warm bonnet was a headdress that they wore that symbolized um, importance and power. A lot of times they'd wear it into war. It was typically made out of eagle feathers. The third and last name choice is Palouse and we would call her Lucy for short. So the Palouse River in Idaho um, it flows down into, into Washington as well, or over into Washington. It was the homeland of the Nez Perce, and they were known for raising the Appaloosa horses. And so a lot of times the fur traders, when they'd see an Appaloosa, they would refer to them as a Palouse horse. And later on that just turned into Appaloosa. And so that's the origin of the name Appaloosa, and we thought that would be very fitting for her. Those are our three choices. And we will see which one she picks. So we're gonna catch her, put these in there, and then we'll let her go and see which one she goes to first. She's ready for some grain. Hi. How are you? Whoa, I'm so tall. Oh, you're tall. Yeah, you're tall. All right. If you had to choose one out of the three, which one is like your top choice? I think Josie's cute. I like that one, but I think my very favorite, well, and Bonnie and Clyde is pretty funny. I do like that one, That'd make, but I think my very favorite is probably Palouse. If I just had to pick the name Lucy, that wouldn't be my favorite, but I like the meaning of Palouse and where that originates from, so I think that's pretty cool. So she had a name with some history to it, which I think is awesome. I like that one you? too. What's your favorite? I think if I had to choose, when we first came out here today, I was thinking War Bonnet was my favorite because it sounds so awesome and Bonnie and Clyde goes super cool together. But I think Josie is my go-to now. I think if I was really rooting for one, I'd say Josie in honor of Chief Joseph. I'd have fun calling her Josie. Josie. Going down the trail with Josie. So I'm rooting for Josie. My second choice would maybe be probably War Bonnet. It's just so awesome. She's kind of fiery. She's got a little spunk to her. She definitely does. Are you fiery sometimes, little girl? Sometimes. All right, we'll put our three tubs in here and let her choose a name. So here we go. Fingers crossed for Josie. What do you think she's gonna choose? Lucy. I have no idea. We also have a smaller bucket. Maybe she'll just go to the smaller bucket because it's like 
less intimidating. She might be scared of the buckets. That's very possible. She's scared of really any objects around her feet. So I didn't put my favorite on the small bucket or anything like that. There was no strategy involved. So we'll see. I don't know. What are you gonna pick? She says I'm napping. <laughs> uh huh. There's green. You can't have it yet though. All right. So the rules are she has to actually eat out of it. She can go up and sniff it. Doesn't count. She has to walk up to it and eat out of the bucket. And that's her name for the next 30 years, hopefully. <laughs> I'll be 70 when she's done with this name. <laughs> that's crazy. Not that I'm 40, I'm just almost 40. It's 36 still, so it's not even almost 40. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We've got Josie, we've got Lucy, and we've got Bonnie. Then we're gonna do this. <laughs> that way she doesn't know what one she's picking. She doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe we should let her know. All right, we'll let you know. We got Josie. Can you eat it yet? We got Lucy. Nope. We got Bonnie. Okay. We're gonna spread these out a little bit. Spin her, spin her around three times. Feel those hind quarters. Nice, kid. All right, you ready? Let her go. All right. Pick your name. Three, two, one. Pick it. Pick your name, kid. She'd really like the name Josie, but she just can't make a commitment. She said this halter flap is really getting me. Are you right now hoping she does eat out of it or hoping she spooks to another one? I was excited when she was going for Lucy. But she seems pretty committed to that one. I think she'll figure it out. She's just too scared of the darn buckets. She's just building the suspense. That was so cool. No, didn't quite get it. <laughs> She's like, I'm pretty certain something might get me. This has got to be a trick. Oh, Josie. Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so scary. Josie in honor of Chief Joseph yeah. of the Nez Perce tribe. She's uh, very unhandled, so the buckets were a challenge. <laughs> we thought about just sending it on a flake of hay, but we figured, well, she's gotta learn how to eat out of buckets sometimes, so it's a little easier to put name tags on buckets anyway, but she's pretty sure that bucket's gonna get her. <laughs> so scary. Let me hold it up for you, would that be better or more scary? Yeah, there you go. Those things are scary. 